TikTok Live finally has a chatbot. The new Tickfinity chatbot can be triggered by any of the events on screen now. Of course, that includes chat commands, but it can also type in your chat when you get gifts, likes, and more. Tickfinity is free and linked in the description, but there's an important change to make before we set this up, and that is the connection type. Tickfinity needs a way to connect to your stream so that it can type from your account into your chat. So there are two ways to do that. The first one is the browser extension as stated on the chatbot page. This was initially designed to fix broken sub alerts, but it now works for the chatbot too. I've put a link in the description for that if you want to use this method. However, my recommended method is the new Tickfinity desktop client. It's way more reliable than your web browser because the web browser sometimes randomly shuts the Tickfinity web page down. So I've linked it in the description or it's on the Tickfinity chatbot page. So to get started, just download the client, run the installer, and on the setup page, you should be asked to connect your TikTok account. If it doesn't ask you, then just scroll down the setup page to, where is it? This section here, which is titled TikTok login, and just click on login to TikTok. Let's double check some settings before we set up the chatbot. Head on the setup page and just scroll all the way to the bottom and make sure this box here, the one that says use server side connection is unchecked. Now let's turn on the chatbot. And of course you just have to head to the chatbot page on the left hand side and tick enable chatbot. Of course, Tickfinity has added a little warning here. The chatbot is typing from your account. So of course, just be careful what messages you put in the chat. So as we can see by default, we have a lot of different commands here. And these are all related to the different Tickfinity features. And you can just check each box to enable or disable these commands. Now it is a little bit confusing if you want to change the actual chat command. For example, exclamation mark points. If we want to change that to exclamation mark score, then we have to do that on the relevant page. For example, if you're changing text to speech, you go on the text to speech chat page and you change your command here. If you're changing a wheel of fortune command, that's on the chat commands page. The song request commands are on the song request page and so on and so forth. I'm sure you're now wondering how do I add my own custom command? So let's make one now. I'm going to do a PC command which outputs all my PC stats into the chat. So to make your own custom command, let's click onto the actions and events page. Might look confusing because I've got a whole load of actions, but all you have to do is click on the create new action button. I'm going to call mine PC command. There's a ton of options here. I'm going to keep mine super simple and just tick send chatbot message. Now, if you're multi-streaming like I am, and I think everybody should be, you've probably got a command for this in your Twitch or your YouTube chat. So if you've already got one, just copy and paste the command from wherever you set up your chatbot for Twitch and YouTube. So for me, that's Cloudbot. So I'm just going to copy and paste this, head back into the Tickfinity desktop app, and then paste it into this box. But of course, you can't put links into TikTok live chat. So I'm just going to remove the reference to the affiliate link. Once you're happy with your command, you could use any of these other options. But again, I'm keeping it simple. You can leave all these others as the default and then scroll to the bottom and save the action. Next, we need to make a new event. And this is where we're going to specify our command. So create the new event. By what will the event be triggered? It is, of course, commenting a command. And the command for me is exclamation mark PC. Of course, I'm going to leave it on level zero so everyone can trigger it. And then under trigger all of these actions, I'm just going to select the PC command that we've made. And now I'm going to save it. So for a basic chat command, it really is as simple as that. Let's move on to an example where we type into the chat after receiving a gift. But just before we get to that, a big thank you to NordVPN, my affiliate partner. I probably don't need to describe Nord to you. You know what it does. So if you want to support the channel, head to nordvpn.com slash WGMojo. Anyway, as we said, let's set it up so that when you get a gift, it types into your chat. So we start again on the actions and events page by creating a new action. And I'll call my new action new gift. And let's go a bit more advanced this time, as well as typing in the chat. We're going to show what gift you got on the screen. To do that, we check the show alert user plus text box. And after checking that, I'm now going to type into the box. Thanks for in brackets, repeat count brackets, gift name. You can copy and paste them from this section here. Let's say I send five galaxy. 
it's going to show my profile picture, show my username and say thanks for 5 Galaxy. Play around with the other settings if you want and my full Tickfinity guide is in the description but we're focusing on chatbot messages so next let's tick send chatbot message and by default the chatbot is actually going to tag the user in the chat so what we really have to do is just copy and paste the show alert text into the send chatbot message box so again if i send five galaxy it's now going to type into the chat it's going to say at harry thanks for five galaxy and just remember it's going to type that from your account now let's scroll down this duration is how long the text shows on the screen i like to do five seconds choose whatever you want scroll down through the other options you can leave them as default and now we save it next up we make an event click on create new event everyone can trigger it and it's for sending a gift with minimum coin value if you want it for every gift leave it on one however there is a limit to how many messages you can type in the chat if you send too many messages typically you find you can't type for five or ten minutes the tickfinity developer recommends sending a message every 30 seconds or so so I'm going to set it so that it only types in chat when you receive a gift that is worth over five dollars to you. And as you probably know, half of a cent is how much you get from one coin. So that means it is one thousand coins to make five dollars. So I'm going to type that in the box. Trigger all of these actions is, of course, our new gift action. And now we press save. And for this one, we have one extra step to do. We have to scroll down here to our overlay screen settings and click on the screen one URL. Just double check that next to the new gift action, it's assigned to screen one. If it's not, copy the URL of whatever screen it's assigned to. And then we just add it to our live stream as a link source. So I was just doing a random test live stream here. So you just press add source on live studio. I'll show you OBS in a second. Click on link, press add, paste it into the box and press add source. So again, this is going to show profile picture, username, and it's going to say thanks for 5 Galaxy, for example. And of course, it's going to type in the chat too. Let's quickly add this to OBS as well. So on OBS, underneath sources, you press the plus button, click on browser, type in what you want. I'm going to call this screen one, press OK, and then just paste it into the box. I'm going to also shut down the source when it's not visible and press OK. To test that this is working properly, put Tickfinity and OBS or Live Studio side by side. Go on the Actions and Events page and either press the play icon next to the actions or scroll to the bottom of the page and simulate a gift. Again, I'm simulating gifts over a thousand coins. So let's simulate a gold mine. I'll press simulate. And as you can see on the screen now, it says thanks for repeat count gold mine. Of course, if you are actually live, it would also be typing into your chat as well. So you could use the actions and events page to make some very similar alerts for new likes or new subs. It will be effectively the same steps, except when you're making a new event, you just pick a different trigger. Let's just quickly go over some tips and tricks for this. First one is, as you can see, there is a nice little message log which shows you on the chatbot page whenever a command has been triggered. As I said earlier, keep in mind that if you type too much in your chat, it seems like TikTok will mute you for five or 10 minutes. So the Tickfinity developer recommends you don't use this a lot. So try and limit it to about one message every 30 seconds. So as a result, you probably don't want to use it for things that happen a lot. Like you probably don't want to use it for one like at a time. Probably don't want to use it for follows or coins, but it does depend on the size of your stream. Now for full transparency, as you can see, I asked the Tickfinity developer if this chatbot violates the terms of service. And I do agree with his answer. It is completely unclear whether something like this does. I've not seen any evidence of people being banned or having their accounts restricted for using this. But just keep this in mind. TikTok really doesn't have very clear live stream guidelines. If you're new to Tickfinity, you're probably feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now. So watch this video here to learn all about Tickfinity and how to set it up properly. Subscribe if you found this useful. Thank you to the channel members for their support and thanks for watching.